Back in the classic days of Cartoon Network, there would be quite a few interesting ways of promoting their current shows, and these were often forgotten to time. Also a while ago, companies would place toys in their cereal boxes a lot more than they do today, giving people another reason to make the purchase. Combine some nice Cartoon Network history with the magic of cereal box toys, and you get Scooby-Doo and the Toon Tour of Mysteries. Jinkies! No footprints? Or moving eyes behind this painting? Gang, we're missing some major clues. Velma's right. Help the gang solve their latest mystery by picking up a Scooby-Doo in the Toon Tour of Mysteries DVD-ROM and specially marked packages of Kellogg's cereal. These are considered rare discs because you could only find them in select cereal boxes from Kellogg's and Keebler. Not only that, but they seemed to be available for a limited time, starting in 2004 and being discontinued soon after. I remember having one of these things a while ago, but after searching for a bit, I couldn't find it anywhere. Guess we just have to rely on the internet for footage and other information. Of course, it was possible for these discs to simply play episodes of classic Cartoon Arc shows and nothing else, but there was actually more here that makes it worth revisiting in modern day just to see the exclusive content. There were five different discs in total, but they would each follow the same general formula while also being unique with cutscenes and bonus features. You would start off with a short and sweet version of the iconic Scooby-Doo theme song, and then eventually you would see this map. Scooby-Doo and the Toon Tour of Mysteries is proudly displayed at the top of the page, along with a few different places you can click on. It's a whole interactive experience. A leaf that's definitely 100% from nature has text on it, telling you that to begin, you have to enter the Haunted Mansion. On the doors to the right and left will be two different classic Cartoon Arc shows that changes a bit with each disc, but always going through the middle door is best. When you decide to solve the Scooby-Doo mystery, the gang themselves is here and just having a great time. They have this special mystery locator, which leads to them talking about other cartoons like Kids Next Door. Ice cream disappearing. Investigating factory? Kids everywhere must have ice cream? Ice cream? Now that's a mystery I can eat with a spoon. Yeah. <laughs> What's cool is that these cutscenes are all originally animated and voice acted, as Scooby and friends try to find the answers to their biggest question. It's pretty short and just a tie-in to actually play the cartoon episodes, but hey, this is much better than nothing. According to a Cartoon Arc press release in 2005, the promotion proved successful across every consumer touchpoint, with sales exceeding expectations and incremental dollar sales increasing by 38%. In addition, incremental sales volume also exceeded expectations, up 50%. 52% while retail orders for point of sale materials doubled in 2004 versus 2003. Scooby Doo and the Toon Tour of Mysteries was a smart way to advertise the Cartoon Arc shows playing at the time while getting people excited to watch even more episodes. This partnership was also a good deal for Kellogg's because kids would be more likely to buy the cereal. I mean, you get free cartoon episodes, that's hype! This is, of course, something that wouldn't do nearly as well in modern day, just because we can watch any episode we really want thanks to streaming and the internet. CD-ROMs aren't big anymore, making this a relic of the past that few people would care about today. Cereal box toys and prizes often worked more as just collectibles, but Scooby-Doo and the Toon Tour of Mysteries felt different. It was something you could keep going back to, at least in the days when these episodes were harder to watch. The fact that Cartoon Arc added special content and minigames to the discs just made it even more more exciting, and it was basically a win-win for whoever decided to buy the cereal. Do you guys have any experiences with these discs, or is this the first time you're hearing about their very existence? Let's talk in the comments. But anyway, that's all for this video. Subscribe for more awesome cartoon videos. Give a thumbs up and comment below let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.